Detroit is known for making music, but this making music is kind of a different way of going about it. Yeah, for decades, one business has stood the test of time, and they've been right in the heart of Hamtramck. As the way we listen to music has changed over time, one thing has remained the same. That's right. Photojournalist Alex Atwell shows us what makes Archer Records uniquely Detroit. It is a manufacturing city. And this is definitely a blue collar job. This is what we do here. We make things. I'm Mike Archer. This is uh, Archer Record Pressing. We're here in Detroit. We've been here for 51 years. Back in the mid 80s is when CDs started overtaking vinyl, and vinyl really started the decline. And everyone said vinyl is done. As the bigger plants went out of business, the people that still wanted vinyl had to find a place to get it made. So we were still here to fill that niche. So basically, that's one of the reasons we've been able to hang around. You know, we're at the right size, that we've always managed to stay busy. You put that with the fact that we're here in Detroit. Basically, in the 80s is when the dance music was coming on, and, and the dance DJs, they like vinyl. Always have, still do, and we still make it. As you can see, we hustle all day long here. We're always knocking out records as fast as we can. You know, nothing's easy, right? We're dealing with old equipment. It's always a battle to keep things running. Well, these machines right here are roughly 45 years old. So yeah, it's a bit of a battle sometimes finding parts. It's basically, you look at it and you fix it. The first step takes place at a cutting studio. They'll cut the record there. When they're done with it, they send it to a plating plant. The plating actually takes that lacquer and makes the metal parts. And then the metal parts come back from the plating plant, and that's what we load onto our presses to make the record. So this is our virgin vinyl. The virgin vinyl are all beats. These are gonna be all records. So we take our vinyl, we fill out a hopper right here. This hopper's attached to an extruder. The barrel's heated with steam, and as that vinyl feeds through the barrel, it melts. So here's where it comes out. Same time, you got your A-side label, which is on the top. You got your B-side label on the bottom. Once the vinyl goes inside the press, the ram goes up. It's under a lot of pressure. It's about 100 tons of pressure. At the same time, we're hitting that die with steam. So we got heat and pressure melting the vinyl and actually filling all the grooves. Once this is done over here, we come over to this side of the press and we trim off the excess vinyl. You can see right here, we got a trim plate that pulls off the excess. We can actually reuse that. We can grind that back down. We mix it back in with the virgin vinyl. We get about 80% virgin vinyl, 20% regrind. Actually makes a little better record, a little stiffer, so uh, there's no waste. There's nothing going in the, uh, in the garbage. It seems like people are really fascinated with the process. We are Kane from Buffalo, New York. We just played Detroit last night. Normally they'll come in here when they're, you know, maybe in a small band, we'll make a record for them. And we got our seven inches pressed here last year at Archer Record Pressing. And then, you know, maybe a year or two later, they'll come back and they'll do a bigger run, then all of a sudden, you know, bam, you know, they take off. It seemed cool, honestly. It's uh, with the whole vinyl comeback. The whole manufacturing thing, I mean, people like seeing something come from nothing. Their machines, they said, are decades old. They still work. They're doing one at a time. Kind of a cool product, and uh, they just want to see where it came from. These guys came in from New York. Just cool to see it in person. We made a record for them. We shipped them out to them. They have to be in Detroit. They say, we want to see where our record was made. So, you know, they came by and, and said hi. That's awesome that it's still going. Well, I'm proud of the fact that we've actually persevered for 50 years. You know, it's you don't see too many businesses lasting 50 years. Here we are, you know, we've always had the dance music to keep us going. You know, that's probably one of the reasons we've been able to stick around, too, is the dance music and being at the right size in the right city. And quite honestly, it's perseverance. Come into work every day and you just, you know, make records. What a How great cool story. Is that? I could never have guessed that we've been doing that this long in Metro Detroit. Absolutely not. And when they were mixing the concoction to make the vinyl, I was yeah. like, wait a minute. They make it from scratch, not like, I don't know what I expected, but that was beyond cool. Well, you know, on the, in the, on the weekend when I'm doing parties and right. weddings and I'm spinning, I mean, you need to have, <laughs> huh? You need to have that turntable. You need thing. it to do the DJ yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah, you, yeah. Check. Okay.